Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. The purpose of this presentation is to review with you the basic elements of sharpening of hand instruments, hand cutting instruments utilized in operative procedures uh, in the present day essentially to supplement the or complement the cutting action of the rotary instruments which usually precede the application of hand cutting instruments. Uh, it is very essential that in the application of hand cutting instruments to tooth tissue that the instrument be sharp the edge of the instrument be sharp very precisely. And it's in that context that the following discussion will be carried out. As you know, the hand cutting instrument is made essentially of a very hard carbon steel. And this steel is dulled in the autoclaving sequence uh, and or in the contact uh, functionally with hard tooth tissues. Therefore, sharpening becomes necessary uh, related more or less intimately to the amount of use and application and sterilization that a, an instrument is subjected to. In considering sharpening techniques or establishing a rationale for sharpening hand cutting instruments, uh, the emphasis should be directed essentially at the blade of the instrument. And in review, the blade of the instrument is this portion which connects the shank of the instrument to the cutting edge or working point. And the essence of sharpening is the proper application of the blade tip to the sharpening instrument. The instrument that we routinely use for the sharpening of <clears throat> hand cutting instruments consists of a Arkansas wheel, very soft, uh, very fine grain Arkansas wheel, rotating on a slightly eccentric shaft, giving the wheel an oscillating action. Applying the blade to this wheel at the proper angulation becomes perhaps the most important facet of instrument sharpening. The important thing to remember as we look at the chart on the monitor is the angulation of the beveled surface of the end of the blade which creates the cutting edge. As you'll recall, G.B. Black in his basic nomenclature of hand instruments utilize the 100 unit circle, dividing a circle, uh, the geometric 360 degree circle into 100 units, which would mean that a right angle of 90 degrees geometric would be 25 degrees on Black's centigrade scale. And in instrument nomenclature, we still retain the use of the 100 unit scale. The bevel or the slant of the bevel creating the cutting edge in its reference to the axis or long axis of the blade as we see in this graphic illustration should be 12.5 degrees centigrade. As we look down the blade of the instrument or follow the blade down the instrument the bevel Slanting toward the cutting edge is 12.5 degrees centigrade. The pivotal point where the arrow is now resting is the cutting edge of the instrument. And it is that edge that we would like to show you using this equipment uh, how to properly sharpen or create that edge uh, uh, in this uh, sequence. Applying the concept illustrated in the chart referring to the 12.5 centigrade 
slant of the blade, we move to the round Arkansas cutting wheel and bring the blade of the instrument, as you see here, into a contact position at the surface of the wheel, which would bisect the angle, the dotted line being the radius of the wheel, and the solid line being a tangent to the surface of the wheel, essentially at the point of contact. Again, creating by this application uh, of the blade or instrument to the wheel surface, the correct and proper 12.5 centigrade cutting bevel or cutting edge bevel uh, terminating in the cutting edge. Now, if we can pan in close, very close, I think you will be able to see the contact of the instrument at the tangent to the surface, in essence, which will create the cutting edge. The cutting edge would be on the high side or the surface away from the operator as we're viewing it. Now, if we turn the wheel on and initiate the rotational action and hold the instrument carefully and firmly but gently against the wheel, we are now sharpening at the proper angle and creating the cutting edge. A light but firm controlled contact with the wheel. You will notice the, the dust from the emery uh, impregnation on the surface of the wheel. And moving to the felt dressing wheel, uh, the basic purpose of which is to remove the slight burr or accumulation of dust on the instrument cutting edge. As you can see in this very fine close-up, the burr along the cutting edge as well as the residual emery dust. Now by applying this tip gently to the rotating felt dressing wheel, we can eliminate the burr with a very light, brief, quick touch. And going back to the close-up, we can see the very excellent cutting edge which our efforts have uh, created. Up until this point, we have placed our major emphasis on the blade cutting edge relationship to the tangent on the surface of the cutting wheel to create a proper 12.5 degree centigrade angle. In, in expanding the sharpening rationale, we must also reflect on the fact that we're dealing with instruments of the hatchet type, which are, as you recall, paired instruments. The instrument with the ring on the handle or the shank designating, in the case of the 80 e or 10E e instrument, the right of the pair, that in referring the instrument to the that is the hand cutting instrument to the sharpening instrument, it becomes necessary, of course, to maintain the integrity of the right and left of the pair as we see uh, the examples on camera and or the reverse or standard bevel relationships of the chisel group of instruments. And I will proceed to sharpen the hatchet group, taking first the right of the pair, and notice the position of the hands in reference to the rest on the instrument, that is the sharpening instrument, applying the cutting edge in the normal relationship, 12.5, going to the dressing wheel, we have sharpened the right of the pair. Picking up the left, we come in from the right side of the wheel, making our contact, going to the dressing wheel. That would be the sequence for the hatchet group. 
with the chisel, such as the 18C, the standard bevel would be in this reference. And notice the support of the hands and the control of the instrument using both hands firmly, touching the dressing wheel and completing the sequence. With the reversed bevel of the chisel group, would be the handle would be in this reference and coming in again against our stop or rest area to make the proper contact, come off and complete the sharpening sequence. The hand cutting instruments, which traditionally seem to cause the most difficulty in sharpening, are the gingival margin trimmers. On the illustration uh, now on camera, we again refer to the basic 12.5 degree incline or slant of the cutting edge bevel. And this, of course, is also, the integrity of this is withheld or is held in the sharpening of the gingival trimmers. Now, taking the actual gingival trimmers and reflecting on the fact that we're dealing with a mesial trimmer on the top of the uh, camera or shot now and a distal trimmer on the bottom of these two uh, becomes necessary in addition to creating the 12.5 degree cutting edge slant to maintain the integrity of the slant of the cutting edge in reference to mesial or distal trimmers. And so we'll follow through and sharpen these instruments, taking the mesial trimmer first uh, to the wheel, applying the rules that we have developed, touching lightly on the dressing wheel, and the distal trimmer coming in from left side, getting good support by the rest against the wheel, correct angle, the 95 degree centigrade angle of Black's formula, and a touch on the felt dressing wheel and the sharpening is complete. We have tried to show you in relatively simple, straightforward terms the sharpening procedures related to hand cutting instruments. In completing the sequence, I think it is, it behooves each of the students involved to review thoroughly the angulations, uh, basic angulations of the instruments, such as the cutting edge relationships of gingival trimmers, review the paired instruments of the hatchet group, familiarizing yourselves with the right and left of the pair, and review the chisel group in reference to the standard or reverse bevel, and then having this information in mind, focus on the importance of the blade relationship to rotating wheel surface and creating the correct cutting edge. Following these procedures, there is no excuse for any operator to be working with dull instruments. A dull instrument is a serious hazard, particularly to the patient, since the forces or pressures applied to a dull instrument uh, frequently uh, exceed uh, the, the level of good operating common sense. So that we can't overstress the importance of utilizing sharp instruments. Uh, the dispensing cages at all levels have sharpening wheels, the instrument that we've used here. Uh, you may sign out the instrument and sharpen instruments uh, with staff support at any time uh, they, it is necessary to do so. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. 
Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.